today we're going to make a fun and quick neon animation in Procreate. To do this, the first thing you're going to do is go to your layers menu in your new document. Where it says background color, you're going to tap the white thumbnail and make your background black. Next, you're going to go into your brushes and under luminance, you're going to use the light pen. And the light pen is exactly what it says. It draws and it looks like you're drawing with light. It's pretty cool. Um, so what you're gonna do with the light pen is you're gonna draw your scene or your picture, your character that you want to be in neon. Now I have a picture ready to go and I'm going to go into layers. I'm going to duplicate that layer and I'm gonna to go to the layer underneath and I'm gonna tap the little N and I'm gonna make the opacity about 50%. And if I turn off the top layer by hitting the check mark, you'll see that it's a faded light. I think I'm gonna go down to more like 35, 30%. Yeah, that's a little better. So now what I'm gonna do is go up to the wrench or the actions menu, go to canvas, turn on animation assist, and you'll see that those two layers have become frames in my animation. But I want the brighter frame to be the first frame. So I'm gonna tap and hold it and drag it over to the left and drop it in. So now that's the brighter frame or the darker frame. I'm gonna add one more frame and that frame is gonna stay black. There's gonna be nothing on it. And you'll see in my layers, that frame became frame three or it became another layer. Now I want to duplicate that first frame about three times, or I can go to hold duration and put that to three and that'll accomplish the same thing. Now if I hit play, it's gonna go through really fast, way too fast. So in settings at frames per second, I'm gonna drop that down to about four, maybe five or three, whatever you prefer. And I want it to look like the light is kind of switching off or blinking, which is why we have that faded frame in the middle. I'm gonna pause it. I'm gonna put the whole duration on the faded frame to two. Let's play it again. It's a little better. Maybe a little too much, so Let's drop it back to one. Yeah, I think that looks good. So you can play with the hold settings as long as you want. You can let it stay darker a little longer if you want, but that's a quick, simple blinking neon light project you can do in Procreate. So another fun option is to have each of the elements on a separate layer and have them blink at different times. Um, so what I have here is a layer with the entire picture, a layer with the tree and the beach, a layer with the ocean, and a layer with the sun. And as you can see down in my animations, I have each of those as a frame. And if I hit play, they'll blink at different times. Now that's going way too fast for me. So just like before, I'm going to put a hold on each one. So I'm going to hold one for three seconds, I think, each. For three frames, not really, three seconds. I'm going to hit play. And that's a little too slow. So I'm going to drop down the holds on the different elements and keep it up on the main one. So let's see how that looks. Yeah, I think I like that one. So I'm going to keep that one like that. And if you wanted to, you could have it um, 
have each of the elements fade out to the transparent layer and then go to the next element. You could play with and combine both of these methods together and do something really fun. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you like it. Make sure you subscribe for more Procreate tutorials. I'll see you next time.